So the boiler by itself is only one part of it. Uh, when we removed the old boilers, we noticed a lot of crud and rust and corrosion in the water that came out of it. Added the uh, F5 to the systems prior to removing them. We let that run for a minimum of 24, uh, 24 hours up to five days. Um, then we flushed the systems when we drained it all and when we installed the new boilers, we added these TF1 systems here to remove any of the extended particles that were still left in the water. Inside here there's a magnet, there's a couple of shutoffs, you can shut it off and you can drain the water out. See, we pull the magnet out. Now all the particles that were attracted to it would be suspended and would drop into here. And when we shut this off, we can then drain all the water out of here and all the particles that are left in there will come out. We can remove it. Fun, we're gonna drain it now to see what we've collected. This boiler has been in for approximately two weeks. Um, we have a couple of shutoffs here. We're gonna shut those both off. We're gonna remove the magnet. Real simple, I'm gonna set that aside for now. In the bottom of the cap comes off here is the tool to open the valve. And we got a bottle, we're just gonna drain it into that. Open it up and remove all the particles that we've caught. So we've drained it. There's still some particles left in there. So we're going to open up the inlet side just a slightly to let a bit, little bit of pressure come back into it until we get some clean water coming through here. And then we're going to shut it back off. Shut this valve here. and then reinstall our magnet in back into the top of it. Open the valves and this thing's back in service. And this is what we've collected. So we've just seen Bob empty the TF1 filter out of Plumlee Village and this is what, this is what we've come up with. Uh, this was just of two weeks um, of this uh, filter in line in the system. So as you can see, there's a pretty good amount of sludge uh, and buildup that that TF1 collected um, over the last two weeks. So I just want to show you what was found inside that filter. As I bring the magnet here from our TF1 and drag it along the sides, you can see the rust and magnetite attract to the magnet. And it's actually pretty thick stuff there on the side of the wall. So it's, this is what was inside um, of your heat exchanger, of your boilers, your pump seals, and over time can really break down the components of a heating system. So now I just want to empty this um, jar in, onto these napkins so you can see a full effect of actually what was inside that filter in the system.